Hello, I'm Eddie March, back with more of the best of Australia. Today we'll be taking a trip to the heart of New South Wales, the Central Coast. Thanks for joining us. We begin our tour of the central coast in the city of Gosford, which has one of Australia's oldest wildlife reserves dating back to the 1950s, the Australian Reptile Park. You may recognize Elvis from his five minutes of international YouTube fame when he attacked a lawnmower and dragged it into his pool. Now commonplace anywhere tourists go, this park is what started it all, and today continues his important mission of conservation as well as being the sole collector of venom for the manufacture of many Australian antivenoms, a milking process pioneered here by its founder. It's not all reptiles here, there's also some very big birds and some very little birds. Speaking of venom, this is a funnel web spider that the keeper just let out onto the ground. Widely considered the world's most dangerous spider. He can't get you, matey, it's alright. It's okay. But if you want to get a safe way to get him up, get a get nice big container, place the container straight in front of the spider. Let the spider do all the work. That's it, let the spider walk in. But if you have the spider and he's not doing it, just get a nice container. Always approach the spider from behind, big container down, let him walk in. That easy, guys. It's common sense. It's all it is. It's not rocket science. You don't have to go to tape. You don't have to go to university. You don't have to learn this at school. It's more a thing that common sense for the adults to do. All the way up your shoulder. This will actually slow down the flow, give you a lot more time and even hours longer. So this will save your life. If you're bitten, just calmly immobilize your arm to increase your life expectancy from minutes to hours. This will save your life, guys. This is a scrub python. Scrub python's incredibly dangerous. Um, you can only snake in Australia. It'll cost you around 400, 500 bucks to own one of these snakes. Took but four months, but I finally met an Australian as crazy as Steve Irwin. Can we sit up? If she bites me, what she'll actually do, she'll grab me, she'll trick me, and she'll pretty much throw her coils over my head. Um, people go, oh, how long would it take for a snake this size to kill you? How long can you hold your breath? Uh, Oi. How long can you actually hold your breath? Um, these snakes can kill you in a matter of two to three minutes. That's all it takes for this snake to kill you. Um, this is our female. The male, her boyfriend, the male of this one, actually killed the owner. Killed the owner of Queensland. Grabbed the owner in the closure. The owner was on the phone to his best mate. And his mate thought it was a joke. The snake grabbed him and killed him in his closure. To cool off in the hot spring weather, I met my local friend Mish for a swim at Terrigal Beach. Eddie, playing in the ocean, like a typical Midwestern boy, <laughs> playing in the waves. We are at Terrigal Beach of the Central Coast, Australia. Now, it's a pretty hot day today, something like 32 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that's in Fahrenheit, but here he comes. Oh, what is that? <laughs> you got a good shirt tan going there with your neck. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah, Won't be going shirtless at home. He still hasn't, he still hasn't dived under the waves yet. As you can see, the waves are a massive size today. Not really. And we're swimming in the rip, so. You know, it's the only, the best place to swim. <laughs> if you want to drown, and you know, he's being a bit daring right now. <laughs> Hopefully he makes it back. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yes. At the Central Coast, what do you think so far? It's much, it feels much more Australian than Sydney. Exactly, exactly right. Oh, here's a huge one. <laughs> Finally went under and then my pants are coming 
Daniel. I've <laughs> done it before. I don't mind it. Good. To finish the day off, we had a lovely authentic Aussie Barbie at Brisbane Water National Park. Just 48 hours later, I was on a plane back to the States, already feeling like the past four months were a dream.